Hello everyone, Komal this side, Assistant Professor from Army Institute of Education. So today we are here to learn about some career aspiration in the field of special education. As you all know that special education field is something new or it, we can say that it's upbringing day by day. So many students and many people have confusion about it, that what is special education field or is there any career in this field or how we can become a special educator, what things we have to do to become a special educator or general educator is same as the special educator. So we are here to discuss about it. So before going to the career options, let's start with the how you can become a professional. So special educator is called as the rehabilitation profession, professional or we can say all the uh, all the persons who are working uh, in the all the experts who are working in the field of special education are known as the rehabilitation professionals. So there is a council named as Rehabilitation Council of India, RCI, which is uh, taking care of all the special education programs and all the provisions for persons with disabilities. So first thing you have to do for becoming a special educator is after your graduations, means after your BA, BSc or BCom, first thing is you have to do BA in special education. So BA in special education should be approved by the Rehabilitation Council of India. Rehabilitation Council of India is supposed to address all the special education courses. So first thing is beard in special education. So there are many colleges and institutions in India and abroad which is providing beard in special education. So what you have to do that it should be RCI approved course. Next thing after completion of your beard in special education, you have to register yourself as RCI Rehabilitation Professional. So RCI Rehabilitation Professional are the professionals who are working for the special needs students or children with special needs persons with disabilities, we can say. So for registering uh, to the RCI website, we have, we must have the provisional degree with us, which is approved by the RCI and which is provided by your institute. So we have to register under, we have to register ourselves under RCI site and we will get a CRR number, which is used for our practice. So if you are having CRR number, then you are a eligible or verified special educator. Then you can start your practice at schools or any other institution. And to renew this CRR number, we have to attend CRE program. So you have to collect 100 points over five years to renew your CRR number. So it's a process. It's a long process. So first thing is uh, after your completion of Beard Special Education recognized by RCI, you have to register yourself as RCI Rehabilitation Professional where you will get this CRR number and you can practice your field. Then you can do many courses like guidance in counseling or guidance in family therapy to enhance your CV. So most important thing is uh, you have to do two things to become a special educator, first is beard in special education and second is you have to register for your CRR number to verify it as a special educator. Then after getting your CRR number, where you can work or where you can practice. So first thing is individual practice. You can have your own clinic. You can have your own individual practice. You can open your own individual clinic. You can work in the hospital sectors for children with special needs or children with uh, special needs or persons with disabilities. Or you can work in the clinical setup. There are many clinic setups where we are you uh, we are where we are used to do assessment tests. We are where students are coming from the schools or various backgrounds to get the disability certificate or the other provisional. So we are 
working in the clinic setup to assess them. Then you can work in the school setup. And as per the Supreme Court order, two special educator or more than two special educator are compulsory for every school. So you can get an idea that how it is linked. So for every school, there must be special educator according to grade level or according to levels of primary, senior or secondary. Then as uh, in the higher education, you can work as the professorship. You can teach the future special educators. So these are some areas where you can work. Then if we talk about the private and the government schools, private schools must, uh, private schools are hiring special educators who are having beard in special education degree, uh, beard in special education that must be recognized by RCI. This is RCI certificate and for private schools, CTET is uh, not compulsory. It is optional for special education. I'm not talking about regular teachers there. I'm talking only about the special educators. So next is the government schools. So what we need is beard in special education, compulsory, RCA certificate is compulsory, and CTET is mandatory in government schools. And uh, you can also uh, look for the DSSB vacancies, KVS vacancies, uh, and other guest faculties for the special educators. So, special educators is a big is a big field. So, there are many vacancies uh, in this field in private sector also, and especially in government schools, there are lot of vacancies for special educator. So, if we talk about your earning, how much you can earn while working as a special educator. So a fresher special educator can earn anywhere between 30,000 and depending on the school. So starting will be from 30,000 or it may be more than 30,000. And international schools or IB schools are getting 40,000 paid, are earning 40,000 by the special educator. They are earning 40,000. Next is you can practice as per session, taking per session of the students, or you can practice as a guest faculty in various organizations. So for certified special educator, uh, for per session, you can earn up to 700 to 1000, or it's depend upon the area. So it is the current rate and it is increasing day by day. And as guest faculty, you can earn up to 1000 to 1200 as per sessions. So what are the basic skills we need for the good special educator first thing is patience every teaching professional yes demands for the patience but special educator do demands for some extra patience we can say in a and with sympathy we also must have empathy empathy is more required in special education fit adaptability how we are going to adapt ourselves according to the situation and according to the changing scenario. Creativity is the most important thing as we can say that we have diverse learners in our class and we have diverse group of students in our class. So we have to think in a creative manner, creative manner that how we are going to rectify their needs, how we are going to address their needs. And we have to very dedicated and yes, full of ethics when we are working with kids with special needs. So what is the role of a special educator? As we all know that what is the role of the general educators? They are going to teach the students. Then what is the role of the special educators is first is the to help the students with development disabilities or children with special needs in creative way. As we say, as we are saying that we have to be very creative and we have to be very enthusiastic while working with the kids with special needs. And we have to design curriculum according to their needs. We have to adapt curriculum as we studied about the adaptation and modification. We have to do for them. We have to adapt our classroom instructions. Maybe uh, children with visual impairment may need some different curriculum design, some different classroom instruction may be required. Children with dyslexia may require some different classroom instructions. So we have to adapt them.
we have to counsel parents yes parents acceptance is the most critical and the important part if the parent accepts that how the child is going to work then it will be easy for parent and child and the teachers also to work with the child and then the development of ip so special educators and all the multidisciplinary team are playing important role in developing of ip with regular teachers so development of ip so that is individual educational plan we will take a different lecture on ip because it's a broader term and a broader aspect then modification and accommodation for their content then why we are focusing on inclusion as you all know that nep 2020 is more about inclusion it is giving all children a fair chance to learn to go to school and every school needs at least two special educator as per supreme court orders so inclusion is not about only to say we are going to follow it and we are also doing it and providing education to all children with or with without disabilities in a common classroom setting then inclusive system value the unique contribution students for all the diversity we are catering all the needs of the students and you can see that how does our inclusion look in a school that if you see that we in sports activity we have adapted our surrounding canteen area is something different choir group is different equal opportunities we are giving in all areas students are also doing creative activities how we are adapting our transport area how the bus area is used by the students how the inclusive setup is there in classroom and what is the barrier free environment so as you can see this is a type of a model we are going to use for the inclusive education so before ending this lecture we must have a clear concept of equality equity and justice and we are more focusing on equity aspect rather than the equality equality we already have provided but the main thing is equity so we need equity terms so that's all just have a quick revision so we have studied or we have learned about how you are going to become a professional is means rehabilitation professional or a special educator you have to do bet in special education recognized by rehabilitation council of india and you have to register yourself as a rci professional and get your crr number before practicing you can work as individual practice open your own clinic you can work in clinical setups hospital setups schools are there for teaching learning process special schools are there and inclusive schools are there and you can practice as a professional if if you want to go for higher education there are some scope in private schools and government schools we have already discussed and how much you can earn is between starting from the 30000 and goes for the upward and different for ib schools that is 40000 and certified special educator can get up to 7 to 1000 for per session and see as different for the guest faculties so these are the some skills you need to have and you need to develop for becoming a verified and a good special educator and we have studied but about some brief role of special educator that is going to be sharpen at your special education training time and we have studied about why inclusion is compulsory because nep 2020 wants to give all children a fair chance and as per supreme court order two special educators are compulsory we have seen a model of inclusion in a school and we have studied about the equality and equity aspect so thank you all have a nice day